Kim G. Hansen is a lawyer specialized in legal matters for entrepreneurs. For new startups, they had to make very certain that they own the rights that they use. And of course, they can't control what everybody else uses or owns. But what they can do, they can make sure that in all their agreements, that is, between themselves, between their suppliers, uh, typically consultants and stuff, uh, directors, uh, boards, uh, everybody who supplies something to them, that they get the rights in the uh, things that they acquire from other people, uh, employees also. And that has to be very specific in all agreements to make certain that at a later stage, these people do not come and say, but by the way, now your company is no longer a startup, but a billion million success. And now I want my part of the, shake, uh, of the cake. And, and uh, I, I invented that or I found that out and I have the rights in it. It is very, very, very crucial. The ownership agreement is the crux of the company and, and the most important agreement you will ever have because it regulates the uh, playing rules of the owners in between themselves. So it, it regulates how they have to react to each other, how if they have to work all the time uh, or can work part-time in the company, how much money they're going to take out. It sets the goals for the company often. It sets a lot of uh, no-go areas where you have to agree as the owners. And most importantly, maybe it, it decides what rules applies if one of the owners uh, or more of them want to get out uh, because that is often the most crucial point where the people who start up a company they suddenly disagree somebody wants out and how do you agree the terms for that it's totally impossible if we disagree about something but in the beginning where we are thinking about all the big and beautiful things our companies are going to do we we can agree to something and you have to have that in order because otherwise it will be too late when you need it. I think uh, in relation to company setup, uh, you have to consider a lot of different factors, but very important is tax issues. Uh, how do you want to pay taxes? Do you need to deduct if you get a, a deficit in your company? Uh, another thing is liability. Do you want to be liable for the products that your company market and so on and for all of the debt that you might incur in the company or do you want to have a limited company so that only the money you put in from the beginning are at stake?